See what you missed at the Eden Shale Farm Field Day. Get ready for Lexington and Louisville Burger Weeks. What you need to know about the KCA Hall of Fame Award. You're watching Kentucky Cattle News. This is Jacob Redway reporting. At the Eden Shelf Farm Field Day in Owen County on June 25th, cattle producers got an up-close look at the fence line feeding system, the large hay feeder, and a few other best management practices on the farm. We caught up with a few attendees to get their thoughts on what they saw. It's good to see the different systems, different versions of the same system set up and see how what works and what doesn't and then take the application back to my farm and see what will work there best, the most economical, most efficient to do. The fence line feeders, I was already looking at doing something like that, that's why I was really interested to come today. They, they're very efficient, uh, I'm more interested in the fact that I don't have to have a tractor in the field fighting my cows in the field and tracking up, making mud holes everywhere. Um, it'll be easy to implement, not too expensive to implement, and the savings that over pasture renovation each year, it would definitely pay for itself quickly. I really like the second option with the concrete floor and without the roof. But uh, you know, in the future, who knows? You can you can always upgrade it. So you gotta have something to start with. I really like the the idea that the water in central locations, you know, for for drainage and uh, so you can do one water can do multiple fields, you know, and uh, having it set up, you know, save money if you only need one that can service more fields than than having more of them. So I really like like seeing that. Anybody that's going, you know, if you're going to do some project or something, if, if they have what will work on your farm, then it's a great thing to come and look at it. Uh, all the research you can get and all the information you can get is a whole lot cheaper than spending money and, and making a mess and having to redo it. You don't want to do it but one time. Uh, Eating Shell for me as a producer has been invaluable. It's a, you know, I'm a first generation, so I started from scratch with nothing, and uh, there's a lot of stuff that I would have definitely done wrong have, had I not seen it here first and realized, you know, change it a little bit and it'll work a whole lot better. For more info about the farm's winter feeding systems and more, visit EdenshellFarm.com. Prepare for burger mayhem this July as Kentucky Beef Council presents Lexington Burger Week, July 8th through 14th with Smiley Pete Publishing and Louisville Burger Week, July 22nd through 28th with City Beef. Restaurants throughout each city will offer unique gourmet burgers for only $5 each and for seven days only. Pick up a passport at a participating restaurant to track your burger conquest and turn in your stamp passport for your chance to win prizes. Follow the Kentucky Beef Council on Facebook and Instagram for burger updates and giveaways throughout each week. For more information, visit LexingtonBurgerWeek.com and LouisvilleBurgerWeek.com. Do you know a cattleman or cattlewoman whose time, dedication, and service to the beef industry has made a far-reaching impact? Then consider nominating them for the 2020 KCA Hall of Fame Award. Starting in 2012, the Hall of Fame program was designed to give appropriate recognition to individuals who've made highly significant achievements in agriculture, agribusiness, and to the KCA. Five people are inducted each year into the Hall of Fame, with one inductee being from each of the KCA's membership regions. 2020 inductees will be recognized at the KCA's annual convention in January. Inductees are nominated by their peers. Past winners and applications can be found online at kycattle.org. Applications are due August 30th to the KCA office and we highly encourage you to nominate a deserving individual. Kentucky Cattlemen's ground beef has been on Kroger store shelves for more than a year. And to celebrate, we'd like to take a look back on a story we shared about Charles and Judy Miller in Jessamine County, who helped supply the product. Every morning, uh, Charles gets up about six. I let him get dressed, and then I get up a little, about quarter after six. And he fixes breakfast, which I love. And then we always, if the weather permits, we'll go outside and finish coffee and uh, talk about today and what we're going to do today or just enjoy the cattle are out back. We have been involved in farming literally all of our lives. Uh, I started out on this farm with my dad uh, some, uh, well, we don't want to talk about how many years ago, but several years ago. Uh, in years past, we have done quite a bit of backgrounding of calves. 
But uh, right now we're involved with cow calf operation. We're a spring calving herd. Uh, we've been uh, talking about ourselves as being beef producers, if you will, for the, at least the last 35 years. My father uh, was a farmer. My grandfather was a farmer. And so I guess the outcome of that was just natural. You were part of your community. At that time, and maybe uh, Jessamine County was much smaller, more rural, and to get anything done, you had to cooperate with your neighbors. It's one of the interesting things about farming is that probably no two days are exactly the same. The day-to-day -day things are, are not chores to us. They're work sometimes, but yet in the long run, they're things that, that we are very passionate about doing on a daily basis. We, we take a lot of pride in our cow herd. We try to do the best uh, possible job of being up to date and, and being able to, uh, to maintain that cow herd in a manner that will provide a quality product at the end. We chose to be a part of the Kentucky Cattlemen's Ground Beef Program because we're Kentucky cattlemen and this is a tremendous opportunity to add value to our cows. It's a tremendous opportunity for us in our closeness to a very urban area being Lexington. Uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for us to feel like that we're a part of providing a quality product uh, to our urban neighbors. And uh, that means a great deal to us and we take a great deal of pride in being able to do that. From our hands to yours. We are Kentucky beef producers, helping to feed Kentucky. Visit KentuckyCattlemen'sBeef.com for more info. Thanks for watching Kentucky Cattle News, where we're always thankful for farm families, healthy herds, and tasty traditions.